you see you there. My name is Staff Sergeant Duvall out of Fort Lee, Virginia. Today we're going to be talking about the hardware and components that we utilize in a sling load operation. More importantly, what we teach you here at the Sling Load Inspection Certification Course. Go ahead and get started. First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the two different types of apexes. The 10,000 pound capacity apex is made of aluminum and uses a 1 and 1 8 inch diameter cross pin. The 25,000 pound apex is made of alloy steel and is fitted with a 1 and 1 half inch diameter cross pin. The cross pins in the apexes are fitted and secured with a 3 8 inch drilled bolt, a castellated nut, and a cotter pin. Now, take a closer look at all of the six components that make up the apex. Moving on. Let's familiarize ourselves with the two types of sling sets we will utilize throughout the course. Here we have both a 10,000 pound and a 25,000 pound sling leg. Let's identify some characteristics of a 10,000 pound sling leg. The sling leg is made up of nylon rope. It is olive drab in color, 7 8 inches in diameter, and measures 12 feet in length. A grab hook is attached to the lower eye of the nylon rope and attaches the nylon rope assembly to the chain. It is used to adjust the chain length. The chain has 110 to 115 chain links and measures 8 feet in length. Now that we have identified characteristics of a single 10K sling leg, let's talk about the leg capacities of an entire 10K sling set. A sling set consists of four sling legs, so a set of four 10K sling legs makes your lifting capacity the full 10,000 pounds. Taking away a sling leg reduces your capacity by one quarter, so having three legs equates to 7,500 pounds. With two legs, your capacity is 5,000 pounds. And finally, using only one leg makes your lifting capacity 2,500 pounds. And here we have the 25,000 pound sling leg. It is also made of nylon rope, however it is black in color. It has a diameter of one and one quarter inches, and it measures 12 feet in length. The grab hook is once again present, connecting the nylon rope to the chain, and its chain has 84 to 88 chain links, with a length of 8 feet as well. Finally, let's talk about the leg capacities for an entire 25,000 pound sling set. While keeping in mind the same principles of the previous 10K sling set, four 25K sling legs is going to give you that full lifting capacity of 25,000 pounds. Having three 25K sling legs will put you at 18,750 pounds. Two 25K sling legs are capable of lifting 12,500 pounds. And lastly, using only one 25K sling leg has a lifting capacity of 6,250 pounds. We already stated that the grab hook assembly attaches the nylon rope to the chain, but let's take a closer look at the components. It has a bolt and lock nut which secures the spring-loaded keeper in place. The hook portion allows for a selected chain link to be inserted and secured underneath the keeper. The eye connects the grab hook to the chain by way of the coupling link. And finally, the yoke has a pin and spacer that are used to attach the nylon rope to the grab hook itself. Ensure there is a snap ring present which holds the pin in place. Verify that the grab hook has been drilled with a 13 64 bit replacing any roll pins with a self-locking or dome nut. Okay, let's talk clevises. Clevises can be used in the rigging procedures as a lifting point for various types of loads. You will see three in the slick course, the large clevis and the medium and small. The large clevis has a lifting capacity of 12,500 pounds. The medium and small clevis can lift up to 6,250 pounds. Anchor shackles are used as a lifting point on different types of loads and come in different sizes. They have three components, the bolt and safety nut with a cotter pin. The Type 4 connector link has a rated capacity of 12,500 pounds. The component parts are a base plate, two aluminum spacers, and one locking plate. Use this link to construct a Type 26 nylon apex. When constructed, the capacity becomes 10,000 pounds. Next, we have a two-point link assembly. It has a rated capacity of 25,000 pounds. The component parts are 
two base plates, two aluminum spacers, two bolts, and two nuts. You can also use this link to construct a Type 26 nylon apex. When constructed, the capacity also becomes 10,000 pounds. The Type 26 nylon apex can be used in two configurations. The first is used to make the basket hitch. And the second configuration is that it can be used to create a nylon donut ring. These two configurations only authorize the use of Type 26 nylon, not Type 10 nylon. The rated capacity is 10,000 pounds. The 15-foot tie-down strap is used to secure cargo in vehicles and trailers. They are used in conjunction with the load binder. It has a rated capacity of 10,000 pounds. Load binders are locking devices used to tighten the 15-foot tie-down strap. Load binders come in two rated capacities. Black is 10,000 pounds and silver is 5,000 pounds. The cargo utility tie-down strap, also known as the CGU-1 Bravo, is a tie-down strap used to also secure cargo in vehicles and trailers. It has a rated capacity of 5,000 pounds. The static discharge wand and grounding rod are used to discharge static electricity from the helicopter to the ground to ensure a safe and successful sling load operation. While a helicopter is in flight, the static electricity remains stored in the aircraft. A ground crewman hooking up an apex fitting to the cargo hook provides a path for this charge to follow to the ground. This charge will cause severe electrical burn or injury. To avoid this, an additional crewman will utilize the static discharge wand to ground the aircraft first, allowing the hookup person to safely attach the load to the aircraft. Do not hold the discharge wand within 16 inches of the metal hooked end. A strong static charge can jump up to 12 inches. To be effective, the discharge wand must maintain contact with the cargo hook during the hookup operation. If contact is lost, all personnel will pull back from the hook until contact has been re-established. Drive the grounding rod into the ground at a 45 degree angle until firmly seated, away from the side of the load. A minimum of 6 to 8 inches is required in firm ground and 24 inches in sandy or loose soil. Connect the cable clamp to the vertical shaft of the stake portion of the grounding rod. Serious for one second? I'm trying to make a video. The cargo hook reach pendant reduces hookup time, gives the hookup team more flexibility, and when used, a static discharge wand is not needed. The cargo hook reach pendants are approximately 5 feet in length and come in two capacity sizes a 25,000 pound and an 11,000 pound. The 15K spreader bar is used to keep the sling legs from contacting or damaging the load during sling load operations. The 15K spreader bar may be used on single point, dual point, or tandem loads, but only when authorized in the rigging instructions for that load. The 15K spreader bar can be used on all types of loads, but is not interchangeable with the ambulance spreader bar. And finally, let's talk about some consumable materials. Masking tape is used to shatterproof glass, plastic surfaces, and for padding material. Two inch pressure sensitive tape can be used as a breakaway material but cannot be mixed with type 1 quarter inch cotton webbing. Type 1 quarter inch cotton webbing is used as a breakaway material on various loads. Breakaway material prevents sling legs and chains from becoming misrouted or tangled during sling load operations. The rated capacity is 80 pounds. Type 1 quarter inch cotton webbing can be substituted with 2 inch pressure sensitive tape as a breakaway. Type 3 nylon cord is used to secure loose items that may move or detach during flight. The rated capacity is 550 pounds. Cellulose wadding is used to protect breakable or sensitive items of equipment during sling load operations. And there you have it, all the hardware and components you will see in sling load inspector certification course. Be sure to check back for more inspection and rigging videos in the future.